Some astronomers believe we will never reach the edge of the universe. After watching this video, you will understand why. This is an ordinary photo of a galaxy. Besides the bright moon, we can also see some stars of various sizes. From the Doppler effect, we can know that the red-shifted galaxies are farther from us, while the blue-shifted galaxies are closer to us. But that's not the main point. When we zoom in on the image, you will find the moon becomes extremely clear. And in the lower left corner of the moon, there is a blue grid. Don't blink, the miracle is right there. As we continue to zoom in and enhance the image, we will find that in such a small area, there are actually a large number of stars, an unimaginable number of them. But these all exist only within that blue box. If observed from Earth, it would just be a star in the night sky. And this photo is from the famous Hubble Deep Field. On September 25, 2012, after the Hubble Space Telescope was equipped with the third generation wide field camera, NASA selected the deepest field discovered over the past 10 years and synthesized it through long exposure. Before the Hubble Space Telescope was launched, astronomers could only observe the universe using ground-based equipment, but due to the Earth's rotation, ground-based telescopes could not perform long exposures on a specific area of the sky, making it impossible to see the distant universe clearly. It wasn't until the Hubble was launched in 1990 that we had the chance to see these beautiful stars. It was as if humanity had opened the door to a new world. And because the Hubble Space Telescope is in space, it is not affected by the Earth's rotation, allowing it to perform long exposures. As a result, we obtained this famous Hubble Deep Field image. The area chosen for the Hubble Deep Field is also a specific region in the constellation Fornax. The Hubble Space Telescope focused on this area for 50 continuous days, with a total exposure time of over 2 million seconds, taking more than 2,000 photos. What's more remarkable is that, this time the Hubble extended its view into the near-infrared region. Finally, it composed this unprecedented Hubble Deep Field image. The area is very narrow, with a diameter less than one-tenth of the full moon. But in such a small area, the Hubble Space Telescope discovered more than 5,500 galaxies. The faintest galaxy has a magnitude of about 31, while the faintest object visible to the naked eye is more than 200 times brighter. It is worth noting that the universe was born about 13.7 billion years ago, and the Hubble Deep Field can trace back to stars from 13.2 billion years ago, when the universe was only 500 million years old. This means that the light from these galaxies started traveling to the Hubble's camera 13.2 billion years ago. If the Hubble Space Telescope wanted to observe the entire sky, scientists estimate it would take about 32 million Hubble deep fields. If we calculate based on 5,500 galaxies, there are at least 200 billion galaxies in the universe, an astronomical number and each galaxy contains hundreds of billions of stars. But those of us who are fascinated by the universe have long become numb to these numbers. The universe is so vast. The observable universe alone is 93 billion light years in size, not to mention the possibly even larger space beyond. Thus, astronomers often lament that humans may never reach the edge of the universe. The reason we want to see such a distant universe is because it hides the secrets of the universe's origins.